I've had this Terraflag CT6 for about a month now, and the first thing I realized, aside from the crazy power of being way high up, is the lack of power from going forward. I wasn't planning to get brakes, because I know you don't need new brakes to get a lift, but I had plans for all the mods I was going to do this Jeep, but after I got the lift, I was like, the next thing I need is brakes. Because yes, you can still drive a Jeep with 40s, but you need to be prepared and change your way of thinking and learn your vehicle over again because you need more time to brake, especially if you do what I do, which is pull a trailer. So I decided it was important enough to go with brakes, and I figured it made sense to do Terraflex again. So we're doing Terraflex front big rotors and rear big rotors are performance rotors, so they're slotted. I'll show you what the front ones look like. Terraflex sells two big rotor kits. There's a front rotor kit and a rear big rotor kit. The front kit has calipers like this one. The rear come with brackets like this. I've had these painted. They normally come in gray. Let me show you the rotors. This is Terraflex's big performance slotted rotor. You can buy these individually to replace yours or you can buy them in kits. If you're watching this video, you probably already know why you need big brake rotors. Bigger tires, more mass, more weight that's pulling you forward and you need something bigger to slow you down, more surface area to cover and make contact, helps you stop better. Have you seen that uh, that movie Crank with Jason Statham? I don't think I have. Basically what I'm getting at is Jason Statham takes a jumper cable, sucks it to a car and goes, Juice me! That's what but does he talk like this? Juice me! Yeah, basically. That's basically a flawless representation of Jason Statham. <laughs> Every... I'm required to wear these cut resistant, slash resistant, abrasion resistant. Well, yeah, that, I think I think that covers it. Gloves. I'm like, oh, 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 look at my gloves, guys! Oh. <laughs> and one more policy thing because I totally always forget this. I was just waving at the chef of the class. Yeah, that would have sucked. <laughs> That scream was pretty good, we'll though. We'll catch that in editing. <laughs> Jack equals sins. You don't have to impress me, Chris. They're, no, they're really not. I know they're heavy. I've lifted them. So, first step, take off the spacers. Second step, just snap your fingers and it's done. The pistons are in good working order. Oh, that is, that is a thing of beauty. Thanks. I had them painted, they were, gray, uh, you know, just gray. But yeah, they were boring, is what you no, they, were, they were okay, but I was like, if you could see some red through the wheel spokes, that would look pretty cool. So I went ahead and got them painted. Nice. My spacers! Oh good, they both came off. I was slightly worried, I was like... My rice patties! I was like, it just came off in one piece, what do I do? All right, I'll, I'll corporate. Let's compare those rotor sizes. Not to mention it's slotted. So performance. I'm really anxious to test these out. If you didn't see the last Should Be Tuesday, we put the Terraflex lift kit on here, which comes with steel braided brake lines. So these in combination with Terraflex's big rotor kit, it's gonna be a really a nice combination for full stopping power for this full size lift and tire. So this front kit comes with its own set of pads, and because I'm doing a uh, Replacement rear rotors. I'm also going to put new pads even though my pads are already fine But this front kit specifically has slotted rotors the whole calipers and the pads everything you need So basically this is a silicone paste what it does is it keeps the uh, brake pads from squeaking Or you know singing you some kind of magical song that goes <laughs> Every time you break you mean that was carbon right there Would you like some cheesy poops? Yes, I want some cheesy poops. I thought you were putting that silicone on the actual pad. I was no, like, doesn't no. that defeat the purpose? <laughs> yeah, that so it's the outside. What does the outside make contact with? Is it the caliper well, pressing down? Well, you know, there's down? glazing the pad, and then there's glazing the pad. I missed it. Where, where did it go? Did it go in there? Oh, good shot. That almost never happens for me. In case you don't know anything about rotors and tires, the rotors themselves, just replacing the rotors is a huge performance increase. Slotted is just an extra little something. You don't need it, of course. You don't even need to replace your calipers, but if you really want just, you know, that extra level and like special pads, that's the way to go. So that being said, the most important aspect of performance upgrade is the rotor itself. 
than the calipers than the pads. That being said, you can get replacement rotors if you want just by themselves, but I'm literally doing everything I can with TerraFlex to make the performance for braking with my 40s as good as possible. One-handed. Well, that was fast. Would you call that a single piston caliper? Yes, this is a single, um, single piston caliper, but these are a special kind of piston. They're not steel or aluminum. These are uh, phenolic, so they're made out of a, um, I guess you'd call it a composite material. I will say you're doing this a lot faster than I thought it would go. Oh yeah? Is, is that just because I don't know how long these things take, or are you just... Uh, well... It was this like I, normal for a brake rotor it, replace? It's pretty, pretty standard. It's not... Brakes are probably one of the easiest things that... Uh, given if you mess it up, it can be one of the most dangerous things on a car, but uh, yeah, th this is pretty typical. Um, but then again, I, I don't know, I'm pretty well certified to do this kind of stuff. So. Quit ruining my shots, Dave! You holding? Holding. All right, go again. taking this Jeep with this lift to Atlanta in my trailer. I'm gonna do the exact same trip again really soon, but this time with the brakes. So that's a good thing. If you guys wanna see my opinions and stuff about it, watch future Ruby Tuesdays because I do trails sometimes in Colorado and whatnot. But I'll be doing vlogs inside of here too and I'll talk in detail about my experiences with some of these parts. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later. Bye.